Hi everyone, Tamir Barak from Trader. Thank you for joining this live trading session where you will be able to see the stock side trade, my PL, and follow me with all of my decisions, just as if you were sitting right here beside me and watching my screams, which I believe is the best way to learn trading. So let me welcome my trading room member and start the trading session right now. Hi traders, welcome all, good to see you all here in our live training room and of course our followers in YouTube, appreciate the fact that you're coming in, please hit that like button for us, it will help our channel, we will appreciate that. Now let's take a look at the markets here, huge gap up, I mean <laughs> we said the same yesterday right, look at this huge gap up, S&P yep. 500. Yep crazy 0.8 percent more than yesterday we just failed just look at the failure yesterday i mean we had the same but what a failure we finished down almost the same in the nasdaq started with a very big gap up and then came down nasdaq starts today up 1.05 percent so huge gap up yesterday it failed today who knows it's a bit early for me to take a trade right now. I'm looking for big movers. Hey, if we get below 210 on FSLR. Stock is down 2.6%. Big gap down, not a huge gap down. Well, this just could be a okay. gap and go. FSLR 210 traders. FSLR long 210. Small share size that I'm going to add to this trade if I can. I'm going to post C8 for short under 74.65. Google is very strong today. Come on, FSLR 210. I'm going to be coming in here. I'm long the stock right now. Not too much of an initial move. The S&P is uh, exactly where we started. A bit dodgy right now. That's the same. I'm watching ENPH for short under 146. In case it's going to come down. Okay, watch uh, CL. Getting close. About to short CL, shorting now. I'm short CL. Hey traders, on the ENPH trade, uh, if you're short this trade at 148, yeah, Antonio, short this trade. Here, I'm going to add under 147 here, 147 ENPH. I'm waiting for 146. Though. Close to this pre-market. Nice thing about the NPH, it's down, it's down 11%. Okay, CL, that's a nice move. Nice. Probably should have taken my partial by now. Did not. What a spike down. Beautiful volume. Now let's see if it's going to give me the chance to take my partial. Needs to be under 74.40 to actually reach 74.30. Okay, we do have the first established trend in the S&P and it is down. We just moved under the lows. 150 on ENPH, I will be out of this trade. I'm wondering if it's going to look like yesterday, Scott. Yeah. Had a great morning yesterday and then we just gave it all away. Yeah. 
Tesla is looking solid today it's up 1.4 percent I can't say I like the daily of Tesla I do not okay in CL back to my target price getting ready for a partial there now I will try and let it move under the lows that's 74.30 here we go here we go now took my partial I like Tesla over 260. I'm gonna go long Tesla. I'm long Tesla. I'm posting it right now. I mean, in the same time, uh, Ian PH, I am out of this trade with a loss. Look what happened to the SP. When Tesla triggered, which is a good combination the S&P left a huge bottoming tail and a green candle just turned to be green what was a very red candle just turned to be green and uh, Tesla did the first spike up with this with the help of the S&P which is great we had a quick dollar it, there but I'm going to wait for a pullback from Tesla and then come in I'm looking for a new high for a partial in Tesla. There we go. Oh, come on. Hold on there. Now, getting ready for a partial in Tesla. Now, took my partial in Tesla. SP is over the highs. What was the downtrend just turned out to be an uptrend. I mean, of course, just the first 15 minutes. It's impossible to say. Hey, hey, I did a mistake. Out of the FSLR. I'm starting my day what? red. Two red trades to start the day. Unbelievable. Selling now, Tesla. I made a mistake. Wow. How can it be? XPEV. I love the daily huge upside momentum I'm going to buy it over 2207 Posted XPEV coming into FSLR. XPEV is kind of going sideways here, but it's up 8%, almost 9%, and it's holding near the highs. There is a very strong resistance here. That's why I want to see it over 2207 but what I really like about it is the huge upside momentum on the daily I mean, let's take another look here you see the daily of XPEV it recently spiked up like crazy and small pullback at the highs which was yesterday and a continuation today so this could be a very interesting short squeeze there should be a lot of short scale sellers who moved in yesterday so if it's going to move over, it could create an interesting short squeeze. The way it moved down yesterday, probably led in a lot of short sellers, which once they close their shorts, meaning buy, should help it spike up. That is, of course, if it's going to move over the resistance. I don't want to wait over the highs, which is 22.14. I want to buy it before it moves to the highs. And I think most of the resistance should be gone by 22.07. So 
so far it's just going sideways watching here for the entry on fslr 200 is going to be my entry and now here comes enph after i lost money on the trade now it's going to start to roll back over buying now xpv i missed that 07 it spiked up before that i bought it on 12 20 to 12. I hope it's good enough. And now it's failing, really? Come on, be nice. So I'm watching from the sidelines, of course, Scott trading FSLR. And I'm saying to myself, what did he find in this one? <laughs> Why, 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 why did he marry this one? So true. So true. Tesla, beautiful new high. And Scott, I would love to show it. Yeah, I was just going to say that. I was waiting for you to say that. Under the low here looks good, 197.50 or right around. Yeah, 197.50 exactly. I, I'm, I'm not going to do that, but the only reason why I don't do that is mainly because of the S&P 500 is at the highs. And it, it could definitely bounce, but it, it indicates to us that it has a lot of sellers for whatever reason. Somebody's selling. Somebody is just determined to sell millions of shares. For whatever That's reason. That's looking good now too. The thing is traders, we, we, we just don't know. I mean, you look at the way a stock behaves and you just don't know why is it coming down. There's just one answer. Somebody is selling. Just imagine there's a big stockholder of FSLR who just decided they need to get rid of it today millions of shares and they will do it they will do it the market's moving up and they sell they do not consult us they don't let us know <laughs> we, we, we have no idea wow. but they're doing it anyway and look at it it's looking for a new low there goes the mph wow tesla I'm selling some more right here. Sold some more Tesla. XPEV is failing. I like Intel here too. I'll wait on FSLR. Be patient with it. But it has come down and it uh, it looked... I don't know why I'm so fixated on uh, and going long when the stock is in a downward trend here. Can't get it out of my system. Traders, if you watch the NASDAQ, all green candles. Oh, yep. One, green. two, three, four, five green candles. NASDAQ is up almost 1.6%. It's a huge upside move. The thing is, we've seen it yesterday. Look at yesterday, we had only three candles, also quite a big upside move. At some point we had four candles, which turned out, the last one turned out to be red. And then when the market was too extended to the upside, we've seen the pullback, which started then and then came down, closed the gap. Nasdaq uh, closed the gap and continued and so did the S&P. So... It's kind of interesting to see what's going to happen today because it's definitely too extended right now. We look for a pullback and there is a big gap down. I mean, a big gap up, a big gap to close in the direction of moving down. And what's wrong with XPV? Okay, I'm going to close it under 21.60. Yeah, 
Okay, so I'm, I'm adding to my CL short right here. Added to CL now. And I'm keeping an eye on XPEV in case it moves under 2160. I want to stop it. Nvidia is looking quite interesting but the market could be too extended to the upside right now Nvidia is a nice daily it's up trending beautifully It's up today 1.5 percent could go long over four six seven my main concern is the fact that the Nasdaq is too extended to the upside Nice move down in CL for my edit quantity. Keep an eye on XPEV. Boeing is looking interesting. VA. I like the daily too, very strong. But again, I'm concerned from a market pullback and I'm getting the first red candle right now. XPEV close to my stop, out, out of XPEV. I'm starting my day with one loser, two winners. I don't know. Okay, I will buy Boeing over 237.70. Approximately $1 stop loss. Now I'm long Boeing. I like the uptrend and I like the daily. CL is doing good with my edit quantity. I'm getting ready for a partial for the relatively small quantity I added earlier. I want to see the sellers under 30, under 74.30. Boeing is challenging the highs. It's looking good. 238.22 is the highs. Let's see if it can move over. S&P still holding near the highs. We do have a pullback. Nasdaq did pull back. Good. The lows is 74.11. And I wonder if we could challenge the lows. If not, I will have to take a partial early right here. Good. We are very close to the lows. Look at the buyers. 74.13 right now. One more spike down and we'll get under the lows. But the lows is also very strong support normally. And Boeing just touched the highs. It's looking good. Did not move over, but it did touch. XPV, I can't believe what I see. Took me out and now it's coming back up. The S&P is slowly moving to the highs. Okay, I did not get the breakdown in CL. I don't want to set it to move over 30. Took my passion in CL, not exactly what I wanted. But the timing is right because 
turns out to be the pullback in the Nasdaq was relatively small and now we are getting close to the highs both in the Nasdaq and the S&P oh I thought about it I did not take it I missed Nvidia we're going to add at 468 here on NVDA okay Boeing okay Boeing just touched a new high well, let's go from here S&P and Nasdaq both new high Nasdaq is just remarkable today up 1.6 percent okay CL new low so far unlike yesterday the market just keeps going Tesla new high, Boeing new high, cool. I need another 20 cents for another 20 cents for a one point move in Boeing. Which I'm hoping to get. Tesla's touching the three point mark. CL under the lows. Very nice. Scott going sailing tomorrow. So Boeing is at my target. Touching the one point mark here. And I am getting ready to sell some. Oh yes, Boeing. Look at that go. Wow. Just spiked up. Getting ready now. Over a point here. Let's see if it can continue over 239. Sellers do not want to sell and they're moving up. Nice. Buyers are chasing. Look at the buyers chasing the sellers. Over 239 now and going. I got to use this spike. What happened? S&P did not respond. So what's what pushed Boeing to a new high there? Look at it go. Look at it. Buyers already at 38. Figures out all shares and NVDA. Out all shares NV. That's going. If the buyers will come down under 30, I will sell. Look at the sellers, look at the buyers. No, the buyers are moving, <laughs> moving to 50. Now coming down a little bit to 40. Let's see. Something's going on in Boeing there. 55. still going looking at the buyers looking at the sellers looking at the time and sale I want to see if see now we've got some red trades here which means they're selling and I'm selling red indication means that uh, sellers are ready to sell at the buyers price and that's when you want to sell too so I actually got much more than I was looking for in Boeing. Nice. And the S&P is looking for a new high. Nice move on Boeing. Okay, traders, thank you very much for watching this uh, session. Uh, here's my results. As you can see here, I've got uh, three winners and just one loser. 
End result with close trade just over four grand and you can see that I'm still riding CL 200 shares short up $60. Um, Tesla is doing great $278 and just 200 shares left in Boeing up 270 so a little bit closer to five grand and that's not a bad outcome for what like 45 minutes or so. I really did enjoy my session today and I hope you did too and I hope uh, it was educational enough uh, for you to learn how to trade because it's always interesting I believe to you know take a look at the stocks in real time and understand what they're doing and my mindset why am I doing what I'm doing you can notice that I'm looking a lot at the S&P 500 at the direction of the S&P at the direction of the Nasdaq what's more important is the direction of the S&P it's definitely the one that pushes the market because institutional traders are following the S&P 500. So as long as I'm following the market, I should be fine. On the other hand, I was shorting CL and I did fine, but that's because CL is down more than 3% and this should have been and was a gap and go, which means it started with a gap down and then go means it continued under the lows. So there's different different technical formations, different ways to trade the market based on market direction and so on. Again, I want to thank you for watching this. If you are on YouTube, please hit that like button for us. Helps on my channel and I will really appreciate if you help me out. And there's plenty of links right here below if you want to sign up to this great trading room where I post my picks live each and every day. You're very welcome to do so. You can also join my YouTube channel for free. So thank you very much. I'll see you in my next video.